barbershop conversation, guys. Um, yeah, man, go checks and balances, nine wives. I'm going to say this. Steven Espinosa is mighty quiet on Twitter today. Steven, why are you not tweeting today? Little Steven, why are you not tweeting today? And two, I'm going to tell all y'all fighters and all y'all black fans, Al Heyman used your black skin against you. White lives matter at PBC. Steven Espinoza has a white boss. Al Heyman has a white boss. I told you guys this pro-black narrative. I woke up. I had to tell you guys. We don't own nothing. Foy don't own anything. Al Heyman don't own nothing but you niggas. That's it. He don't own a building. He don't own a gym. He don't own an office. He's basically convinced black people with talent to be his to to be their uh, mouthpiece. That's it. He did the same thing you could have did. Now we sitting here, October thirteenth. No fight dates. Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford, no date. Half the PBC roster ain't fought. I was called a coon. Oh, I'm staying on this subject. Because I warned you, it's been about a year. I told you this day was coming. Y'all don't follow um, uh, MSNBC money and uh, the stock market. And so I told you guys. Showtime lost 500 subscribers in Q1. Do y'all know what Q1 is? <laughs> Boxing is a complete failure. And uh, Al Heyman used us. He used me for a couple of years and then I woke up. See, I woke up when, when, when he chose, when I told him the truth about a white woman and he said, oh, we got to get rid of that little Negro. I woke up. I never want to be associated with him ever again. Y'all think I hate him. I don't have time to hate him. I don't respect the man. I don't respect the man for using all these fighters. And in 10 years, Ford is going to tell y'all the truth. Ford is going to tell you how Al Heyman used him because he's going to, because Al Heyman owes Ford so much money, he done forgot how much. Al Heyman owes Adrian Broner so much money, he probably don't even know the totals, man. And the list goes on and on and on and on. The reason why you he asked you to form your, your promotional company is to keep everything in house. Because you go get Bob Arum as your promoter. Al Heyman gotta open up his books and tell the truth. Al Heyman don't want that. He used y'all, man. He used us. He used the fans. And now it's coming to head. And now all y'all gotta come and apologize to me. But you can keep your apology. Stay on the other side because you're gonna find another reason to hate me. Because all I do is tell the truth. You know, outside of this boxing shit. Big said I'll be multi before I die. <laughs> this is fun to me, man. This is fun. Wealth is picking your kids up from home. That's true, Wealth. Wealth is telling the truth. Y'all believed a lie. Y'all believe this pro-black narrative. Uh, we got to go up to black man, Al Heyman. And like I said, I was wrong because had not it been for my relationship with Sam Watson, I would have dissected this shit in 2016. As soon as they run out of money, it's going to get tough. I would have told you guys that. But now it's crunch time. Are we staying on this topic? At least until the middle of next year. Because now what's Steven Espinosa going to do? He's quiet on Twitter today. I want you to debunk me, Steven. I want you to debunk me, man. I, I bet you one, two, three. I got $3, Steven. I bet you $3. Am I lying or am I telling the truth? 
And the dumb niggas in the comments said, I thought you was a multi-millionaire. <laughs> uh, niggas always equate wealth to how much money you spend. <laughs> Stupid niggas, man. That's why Al Hammond can come in here with his shiny suit. P. Diddy can come in here with his 45 change. Mr. T and y'all like, I want to be him. I don't want to be Fred. What they call it, the nuclear family. Kept my nuclear family together. Picking up the kids from school. Dre is curing the world right now. That's sad. It's really, really sad. Al Heyman has a white boss, y'all. We call it partners. You call it whatever you want. You can call it partners. You can call it whatever you want. That was the singer Tank that just drove by me. But anyways, as I digress, since y'all love celebrities, I figured I'd tell y'all, you know, that's Tank. But, um, the singer, not the fighter. Turn little girl, turn to a savage. <laughs> what was his name? I deserve for you to come in. Anyways, whatever he said. But, um, yeah, man. It's getting rough out here in these streets, man. What Adrian Broner say? You gonna go get a job at Amazon? I need my windows clean. I got 20 foot high ceilings. All y'all niggas that didn't believe me, calling me a hater. You hating on Al. I don't hate, I don't hate nobody. I tell the truth fearlessly. That's it. White lives matter. White Lives Matter at PBC. I bet you $3, Stephen. Am I lying? I bet you $3. I got $3 in my pocket. I don't carry cash on me. I bet you $3, Stephen Espinosa. $3. $3, Stephen. I bet you. $3. For all you Christians, one dollar for the father, one dollar for the son, and the other father dollar for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Al Heyman is gonna turn into fuck you, Al Heyman, in a matter of time. <laughs> Thank you, Al Heyman will turn into fuck you, Al Heyman, real, real, real soon. And uh Harry Tubman would have freed more what? Had they known what? Exactly. I loved y'all so much. I put a hundred thousand fifty to a hundred thousand dollars a year on the line for y'all to save y'all. Al Heyman didn't want me to wake y'all up. Nah, he didn't. And then he thought, if I just get rid of this guy, he just gonna go off and do his properties and do his music. No man. I fight to win. That's why I don't like marching. I I I shouldn't have marched during COVID But I had no other plans Because no other options Because no niggas would ride with me man You know so White tears turn into black fear Yeah we, We're afraid of that white man We'd rather make a deal Oh we gonna make a deal with a white man In a heartbeat huh Al Huh Al I don't respect him at all Respect that man at all he said, I'm keeping Kelly Swanson. Oh, you thought I was a coward, huh? Y'all think I'm afraid of y'all? No, I only tell the truth. Only tell the truth. So I'm gonna tell all you PBC fighters, I don't care what ethnicity you are, start looking for a deal. Don't listen to your manager because he's connected to Al. Don't listen to your promoter because he's connected to Al. If you Shelly Finkel and Samson and Louis the Coopers, don't listen to him. No, make phone calls on your own. 
do what you need to do so you can do what you want to do. That's what I, that's our motto. That's one of the Hawthorne's motto. Do what you need to do. Because I really want y'all to win. And this is why these men don't want the government to get involved or want a union or anything as such. Because everybody's funneling money. You know? And Ford is not an asset anymore. Nah, he's not an asset anymore. Ford is a liability right now. Ford believes he's an asset. To who? I don't know. Hopefully to his four beautiful kids. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. You know. NBA young boy got 10 kids right now. But, but that just goes to show you, whatever seeds you put in the ground, that's what will bear. You know? Appreciate y'all, man. Steven Espinoza. I, I, I want to hear you refute what I've been saying the past month. I challenge you to it. Three dollars. Prove me wrong. Three dollars. One for the Father. One for the Son. And one for the Holy Spirit. Al Heyman. Thank you, Al Heyman. It's about to turn into fuck you, Al Heyman. In three, two, one. I'm gone.